How's it going everybody? Guys, we've got something very important to talk about. I am an extremely meticulous person when it comes to how something weighs and feels in my hand, especially something that I'm using every single day for several hours a day. The reason that I have the aluminum Apple Watch is not because it's cheaper, it's because it weighs less. At least that's one of the primary reasons, and I already made a separate video about that. But weight matters. The important thing that we have to talk about is this. iPhone 13 mini, base advertised weight listed on the website, 141 grams. As you can see, this white iPhone mini 13, which is a 512 gigabyte variant, weighs 149 grams. So the base listed iPhone 13 mini on Apple's website that shows 141 is off by eight grams. And I took several measurements. This wasn't like a one and done. I weighed, I weighed it like 10 to 15 times just to confirm. And every single time I put it on there, it's 149 right on the dot. Eight grams is a lot. You can literally Google things that weigh eight grams just to name a few. Uh, a signet ring, a pair of earrings, two USB cables. Here's a weird one. An infant rat weighs eight grams. So there's a difference of eight grams that you're carrying all because you decided to not get the 128, but the 512 gigabyte variant. Eight grams. This bad boy right here weighs 12.7 grams lighter. 12.7. I just listed off all those things that weigh 8 grams. Imagine 12.7 difference, all because I went with this over the stainless steel. This weighs 38.8 grams, and the stainless steel weighs 51.5. And for those who are curious, uh, the titanium variant of this weighed 45.1 grams. And I love titanium. If I was going to upgrade, and I think I mentioned this in my other video, which is titled Never Buy a Stainless Steel, it's that you, if you are going to upgrade and get that premium feel, get the titanium, it's a no-brainer. So that's the mini. It gets worse. As you can see, the advertised weight on an iPhone 13 Pro is 204 grams. This 256 variant, which is only one storage upgrade up, weighs 215 grams. That's a difference of 11 grams. 11. So for those of you who came to this video to get a quick yes or no on whether or not upgrading or downgrading your storage affects the weight, the answer is yes. This right here was Steve Jobs' pride and joy. To Steve Jobs, this thing not only fit in the hand perfectly and you could reach everything one-handed, but it also weighed to Steve Jobs the perfect weight. And this is the iPhone 5 5S body style. This weighed 130 grams iPhone mini is the closest thing we've come to that vision that Steve Jobs had, and this was 141 grams. I gave this a shot. I've always been somebody that gets the Pro series, um, but I wanted to give mini a shot before they, they killed it because there was a rumor that they were going to kill it, and they did. The white iPhone mini that I was weighing was the first one that I bought. So let me explain. So let me tell a quick story. About a year ago, I went into the Apple store gave the mini a shot. I got the white 13 mini in 256. Oh, unboxed it, opened it, it felt great in the hand. I was like, good to go. But then I was like, darn it, I think I need more storage. So I returned it, got the white iPhone 13 mini and 512 gigabytes. And the moment that I took it out of the box, I felt a noticeable difference and I blew my mind. I was like, how is this, this, this is crazy asked people, I looked it up on the internet, and everything was telling me that I was crazy, these things weighed the same, I needed to get over it. I even went into the Apple store actually more recently, and the guy was trying to tell me that he thinks it was placebo effect. So I kept the 512 for a year, just dealing with it. And the new iPhone 14 series came out, and, and I did the same exact thing. I was looking at the weights meticulously looking at the weights of the devices. It came to the same conclusion that I did not want something that heavy. I was gonna get the 14 Pro, but it was way heavier than I wanted. I was like, you know what? 
for this iteration, I'm going to stay with the mini series. Um, so I went and got this mini, and this is the 128. I was able to downsize my cloud storage, which by the way, I'm almost at the maximum of two terabytes, which is what Apple offers. I'm almost there. But I've been able to make the cloud storage work so that most of everything on this is offloaded to storage and I still have like 50 gigabytes uh, remaining of physical onboard storage on the device. So I've been making this work. This is the 128. This thing, objectively, I think this is subjectively true at this point, feels better in the hand than any other product that Apple has from an iPhone perspective. This feels amazing in the hand. Just as this one felt in the hand. This one weighs 11 grams heavier, but they both feel great. And from a reachability perspective, I can pretty much reach almost everything on the phone. So uh, this is a 5.4 inch screen and this was a four inch screen. I'm not saying that this should still be the thing, but I'm saying that uh, comfort is something that's sort of being forgotten. So why? Why is this? Well, I have a theory. My theory is that Apple made a slight mistake. They picked a more premium material, surgical grade, what they call surgical grade stainless steel, which is a more premium material, but they are forgetting the most fundamental thing, and that's that something has to feel good in your hand. And I would argue that a 14 Pro Max does not feel good in your hand. I would even argue that a 14 Pro non-Max does not necessarily feel good in your hand for extended periods of time. What Apple needs to do is bump to titanium. They need to drop the stainless steel and go from aluminum to titanium. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. In summary, iPhone 13 mini 512 gigabyte variant weighs 149 grams. Listed weight by Apple, 141 grams. iPhone 13 Pro, listed weight by Apple, 204 grams. Actual weight on a 256 gigabyte variant, 215 grams. So you can extrapolate that and see how that's going to change everything. So my advice to you, buy one of these scales that I've shown you in one of these pictures. Bring it into the Apple Store. <laughs> Bring it into the Apple Store, weigh some stuff, see how it feels in your hand before buying it. I know everybody's not going to be as meticulous as me, but uh, hopefully some of you found this video helpful. That's it. See you guys in the next one.